What's happening everyone? It's Abdallah here bringing you guys a visual tutorial on how to download Pixelmon onto your computer. Now there's many different versions of Pixelmon out there, many different servers, but this is the latest one and at the same time it's the one that I'm going to be playing on in my Let's Play series. So if you guys want to download it and play along with, I highly suggest you do that. It's going to be really fun. So uh, before you go, this is for computer only. This isn't for PlayStation, Xbox, Wii U, none of that stuff. This is for your computer. Keep that in mind. So in the description below, there is a very detailed list of things that you need to do in order to install it. Follow them very carefully and follow along with my instructions on screen here so you can see what's up. So I'm excited for it. Let's download this together and get it going. So our very first thing that we're going to cover in our description is downloading Java. Now Java is a computer program that you will need absolutely, indefinitely. You can't play Pixelmon without this. So if your computer is unable to download Java, then you may need a different computer or a different setup altogether. Links in the description below, you can find all of the Java 64-bit programming in there for Windows, Mac, uh, or Linux. All of them are there. And keep in mind, you do need them to play. Our next thing is going to be downloading Minecraft itself. Now, Minecraft is not a free game. You have to actually pay for it. So keep that in mind. You will need to shell out uh, at least 20 bucks for the download. But once you have it downloaded and you have your whole Minecraft account set up with your email address, all that fun stuff, you're good to go. You can actually take a look at your profile. You can uh, change your skin. You can do a lot of things from the Minecraft hub on the official site. So that's uh, exactly what you're going to need there. The next thing is to be uh, downloading the Technic installer. Now, what this does is it's an installer that pretty much makes sure that everything is in a row and you're able to play Pixelmon. Now, there's a link in the description for all different operating systems, Windows, Mac, Linux, whatever you have, and uh, you'll get a little desktop icon that looks exactly like this, Technic Launcher. So once you double click on that, you can have it on screen at any given time, and it looks exactly like this. So on the very top, uh, you can see Discover. That's what it'll turn out to be looking like. Click on Mod Packs. In the description, I have exactly what you want to search for. This is the name of the actual server that we're going to be doing. So you guys can take a look at it, uh, copy paste that. And then it'll come up, as you guys can see on screen right up above me here. It says Pixelmon Unlinked 5.0. That's exactly what you want to download. Okay, so click over here. You're going to run the installation on it. It'll take a little bit. But once you do, all you have to do after that is click on Play right over here in the top corner. Would you like to play update this pack? Sure thing. And uh, yeah, you can update. There's going to be automatic updates. It'll, it'll easily get you going through it so that you guys have all the changes needed for the game and your experience is a lot easier. Now, of course, inside this launcher also has the ability to take a look at uh, the different Java functionality that you have. Uh, I ran into an issue where I was using a 32-bit version of Java when I have a 64-bit operating system. So uh, keep that in mind whenever you guys are uh, playing along with. You don't want to choose the wrong bit Java or else you're, you may experience some lag. So there we have it. Uh, we're pretty much updating the entire system here. It's going to look great. Uh, I can't wait to jump into it. Man, a lot of you guys have been requesting for Minecraft. Uh, more Minecraft on my channel. A lot of you guys talked about uh, playing Pixelmon together. I think it'll be super fun. So uh, we're pretty much good there. Uh, all we really need to do is uh, just wait until, until this thing loads up, and then we are good to go. So I'm going to come right over here. I'll show you guys that this is loading. You'll see this screen. Uh, I guess I can make it full screen, right? I could do that. Or, or maybe in a little bit. But anyway, you can see that it is actually working right over here. Pre-initialization, Pixelmon, the Forge logo is totally uh, putting the mod on top of the entire Pixel, or sorry, on the entire Minecraft um, server. So it's going to be great. So now once this thing is ready to go, we'll jump in and I'll show you exactly what you need to do. All right, so once your game has fully loaded, uh, I did a quick cut over there so you guys didn't have to watch me load up the screen. Uh, but once you have fully loaded, all you have to do is click on multiplayer, and then you could jump in onto the server. If you want to jump into single player, you're more than welcome to do so, but the real fun is interacting with other people online. So that's exactly what we're going to do is we're going to click on that. Uh, all we have to do is see this Pichu right up top over there. That's exactly where we want to click on. This is the Pixelmon 5.0. So click on that and we should be able to log in. Now, uh, 
logging in, make sure that you guys are all ready to go. Uh, by logging in, um, making sure that you're on a fresh session. Uh, if you have a stale session open somewhere else, just make sure you close everything and then just redo the launcher and get it going. But this is pretty much it. Uh, now you're currently in the Pixelmon Minecraft server. It looks amazing. Just, just taking a look at all the pixel art. There's so many different kinds of servers uh, that you can play on. The first thing that you're going to get equipped with is the compass. If you right click with your compass, you can pick and choose which of these five servers you want to go in. And immediately upon entering the servers, you will start off with a starter Pokemon. I'm not going to show you that because I'm going to do that in my part one of the Let's Play series. But the server that I'm going to use is server number five, Pixelmon 5.0.1. So that's exactly what we're going to do. Now, uh, don't be intimidated if you guys have never played Minecraft before. I'm not a Minecraft expert, but... Hopefully, by the time I'm done playing this, we'll be a little bit better at it. So, keep that in mind uh, for all of this. Uh, moving around with your mouse, using the keyboard, W, S, uh, and uh, D to move around. It's going to be pretty fun. And you can see all the different people that are here, too. You can chat. You can do, you can do a whole bunch of stuff. It's going to be great. So, that is indeed going to be it. If you ever want to escape, all you have to do is press the escape key. You can always disconnect. And, of course, go from there. So... Thank you guys so much for watching this tutorial. We're going to continue on with even more Minecraft Pixelmon with your help and support. If you guys are interested in how the actual Let's Play turns out, definitely click right over here to watch the playlist. You guys can check out the newest video on my channel there and, of course, some recommendations right there. But yeah, I hope to see you guys all on this server. I'm going to be on the fifth server, so keep that in mind and hopefully we can play together or run into each other online. Thanks for watching, and if this video has helped you download your very own Pixelmon, definitely smash that like button. If you guys have any issues, feel free to ask them in the comment section below, and I'll do my best to try to answer some of them. Until next time, we'll see you later.